Hey guys, this is Julie two four two four. Um, and this is Coloring Me Crazy Stables Tax Shop. I'm just now opening it up, so because I need some extra cash, and I like making tags and stuff. So I'm also gonna add a real brief, quick section about my commissioning. Uh, if you want to know more about it, comment. I can make another video, whatever. If you want to know more about it. Some of the things I'm going to mention in this video, I do not have to show you, but um, I just want to see if anybody's interested in me making them one first before I go buy all the supplies, you know? So, um, but we'll get to that. Uh, in this video, I have one color halter, two color halters, uh, western bridles, hackamores, and a few other miscellaneous things. So, I will show you what they look like and then we can go over colors and everything. Oh, jeez. Alright, so we have this guy. This is a one tone call of the halter. Prices will be in the description, so don't ask. Just look in the description. Uh, my own buckles. I make my own jump rings, but I'm going to tell you right now. I use these jump rings on my own horses. I do not want my horse's faces scratched up, so they are very well made. I would not sell you something that's going to scratch your horse's face up. So, um, don't worry about that. They're very smooth. Place for the lead rope to clip. Again, I make my own buckles. So that's the one tone. Sorry, kind of riding up on his eye. That's the one tone. Now, this next horse, the halter that's on her, was not originally made for her, so it is small. It is tight, but um, it's just an example of what oh, sorry, that they look like. So, um, here's a two-color halter. has the green there, and under there, and on the side. Really nice homemade buckle. So, you pick two colors, and these ones will be a little more, but not too bad. Okay, um, we have a western bridle. It can be adjusted there with a buckle, or there with a buckle, if you can see. So, um, it comes with reins of your choice of color. Do this from the front. I think they're really nice. So there's that. Hackamores. Here's a hackamore. Sorry if you can see me in the mirror, just ignore it. They hook there or there. It doesn't really matter. This is wire wrapped in string. It has the chain there and it will come with brains. So yes, very nice. We could put um, sequins or something on the top if you wanted. <clears throat> so yeah. So colors. We have white, blue, yellow, or purple. Or uh, sorry, that is so not yellow. Blue, light pink, or purple. Now these three right here are a little different than grass greens. They don't have that bumpy texture. They're smooth, but they're really shiny and gorgeous in a halter. So there's that. See, you can tell the difference. This one's rougher. Uh, pink, red, and green. This is hot pink right there, and that's red. Red, white, and blue, black, yellow, or blue. We can make suede halters. Tan, a, I don't know, a strawberry-ish. That's a bad example, but I don't know. Whatever you want to call that color. Or black. This is what they look like. Nice. You could put sequins on them, either across right there or on the other side, or you could put them across the top of that, you could put them on this, I don't care, 
whatever you want. So we have yellow, green, blue, and pink. See, there's sequins in the bottom. So, there is that. Okay, now we're going to get into some of the stuff that I don't necessarily have examples for right now. I want to see if you guys are interested, and then if you are interested, like, you're seriously wanting to buy one, then I will buy the stuff and make you one. Um, so, yeah, they'll have Velcro and stuff like that, but, uh, lead ropes. Simple lead rope. Has the clasp on the end. And it's nice and long. So there's lead rope. Um, can make you boots. A boots. They, uh, do come. They're velcro y. Ah, there we go. Those would be cute. I can make breast collars in different cross grain colors so they'd like match your tack set. So like if you can tell there's little loops on the end of each one of those. You would just loop it in there and under the belly and over there. So they do work. You could put a um, jump ring on the end if you want it or whatever. <clears throat> what else? Oh, yes. Blanket. I did not make this blanket. A girl who sold me the horse did. But it'll look semi like this. It'll have Velcro straps. It'll have the hole there. So, blankets I can make. Bear backpads. Maybe. This is a maybe. I don't know. But um, this is what they look like. Okay, now some of the things that I do not have exactly to show you. Uh, I can make um, fly masks or a weaver. Oh, I'm not really sure if this is the correct name for it. So if it's not, don't be mean. This is what I call it. A weaver one ear head stall bridle. It looks like... Oh my... So I can make one of those. Um, this is what it looks like on the horse. So um, I can make one of those. Option. Ooh, falling. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all for tack. Um, leave comments if you want to buy. It'd be really fantastic if you could. So um, I'm also doing commissioning. I'm going to make this just real quick. Here's a custom I've done. It's sold. Really detailed, pretty eyes. That's all in pastels. Um, a fun messing around custom. Oh, not a custom. Flea bitten custom. Really nice face marking socks. Uh, spots. Blondish mane and tail. Nice pinking. Super smooth paint, etc., etc. One of my best customs ever. Almost done all in pastels. Gorgeous detailed eyes. They actually have all the different colors in there. Gorgeous shading. So it actually looks like it's moving. Uh, hoof striping. Metal hoof striping. And so, yeah. Also, this guy, another custom, super smooth paint, really gorgeous pinking, gorgeous pinking, there we go, pretty eyes, and uh, yeah. So commissions, that's what I have, if you wanted a commission or whatever. So, um, please bye and thanks for watching. Bye.